When a parent or caregiver murders their child, it is a tragic and heartbreaking event. We don't know what leads parents to make these horrific choices, but we do know we can do our best to make sure it never happens again. I'm here to tell you that PACT is taking action and we're providing support directly to parents who need our help. We've launched the Parent Support Project and together with the community, our staff, our donors, the Parent Liaison is making a difference every day in the lives of parents who need our help. As a board of directors, we knew we had to do something. As the agency that all people in DuPage County have to go to in order to access services, we knew we were one of the only groups to be able to provide this much needed service to our community. PACT was started in 1981, 34 years ago, by a group of families who had relatives with disabilities. Being concerned about the future care of their loved ones, they formed an agency to ensure there would be guardianship and related services for the person who was disabled when the family members were no longer able to care for their children. PACT was formed out of the incredible concern that parents have for their children, children of all ages. Parents, many of whom had struggled within the disability system for years, were now counting on PACT to provide for their children and go the extra mile. We continue to provide these founding services and have individuals we've continued to serve for more than 30 years. My name is Gina Donnell and I am the Parent Liaison in the Community Services Division at PAC. The Parent Support Project offers various forms of support. We have one-to-one -one in home support, support at key transitional IEP meetings. When we launched the parent support group, we had over 20 parents calling saying that they wanted to attend. The parent support group offered families the opportunity to connect with one another, share information, and know that they're not alone in their journey. We had one mom that showed up a little bit late and she walked in apologizing and there was kind of a chuckle that came over the group because we realized that this is the one place where you don't have to apologize, that everybody understood exactly why she was running late. It's not uncommon for a family to first encounter PACT when their newborn child starts receiving services in our early intervention program. Then, once again after the child graduates high school, we continue to assist them through our community services program. An ever-increasing number of families are also using the guardianship and trustee services in the life management services program. Here we address issues related to when the parent will no longer be able to care for their child. PACT created the Parent Support Project to address the needs of parents and families. With the increasing age of the parents and caregivers who directly care for their adult children with disabilities, the limited resources available, and the increased stress and anxiety driven by the media and Illinois budget issues, parents are finding themselves in difficult positions. The Parent Support Project is providing information, support, and resources to parents and families who need our assistance. We are responding to the events and needs of the families we serve. We've hired a parent liaison to work directly in the community with parents in their homes. We've started a support group where parents can come and talk with each other about the issues that they're having. We're attending IEP transition meetings to be right there when someone graduates and make sure that their needs are being addressed. We're talking with parents, one-on-one. -on -one. We are making a difference in the lives of the people we serve, but we are also impacting the parents of the people we serve. The Board of Directors is committed to making sure that the Parent Support Project is a priority and that we continue to provide this much needed service to our families who need our help. You can make a difference. We don't know why a parent or a caregiver would ever harm their child, but we do know that we will do whatever we can, supporting families, supporting parents, so that no parent is ever faced with making that terrible decision ever again.